Now, the first time you log into your new Business Manager account, you'll see something like this uh, minus these pages. My Business Manager happens to have a couple pages already inside. Yours probably won't. If it's brand new, what you want to do is get into Business Settings. You can either do that by clicking the button at the top right, Business Settings, or you can come over here to the top left, these three horizontal lines, and click Business Settings here. Select that and come on inside. Now you should see your name. If you click on people on the left here, you should see your name right here. If you don't, make sure you add yourself. You can do that by just adding your uh, email address, but you should see that by default since you're the one that opened the, uh, the um, uh, business manager. And if you've got any other employees you wanna add, internal team members or family members that you wanna administrate this uh, business manager, you can add them right here by adding their email address and either give them employee access or admin access. Now, this is not how you share uh, with uh, partners like, um, like advertising agencies. That's how you add internal team members. So uh, we're going to cover partners and uh, ad agencies here in a second. <clears throat> well, the first thing you have to do is you have to add your assets. That's what Facebook calls them, like your pages, for example, your business page or your ad account. They call these assets. You have to add them to your business manager. I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, you're going to come over here, click on pages first, and um, you see that I've already got a couple pages within this business manager. I'm going to add a new one just to demonstrate how to do this. So I'm going to click on the add button and I'm going to click on add a page that my business already owns. Okay? If you don't have a page that you already own, then you want to create one. But otherwise, go ahead and select this. Now it's asking for the pay Facebook page name or URL. If you're unsure, go over to just a regular facebook.com um, tab and start typing. You can just go to facebook.com and then type the name of the page as you remember it. Okay, this is how I remember the page when I selected it and there, there's the page right there. A thousand people like that. I'm gonna select this page and uh, you'll need to do that. If there's any similar, you'll see it in a list. Okay, this is it right here. So you can take that URL, copy that, and come back over here. See how it says Facebook page name or URL? So you can type in the whole URL I just did, and you see how it just brought up the page right there? It's got a match. And if you type in, if I just type in the name, very similar results, all right? And uh, even shows you how many likes you've got, so you can kind of validate that that's the correct one. Some pages are very similar in name, so it gives you this number of likes so you can match up with your page. Um, okay, go ahead and select it. And what we're going to do is click now, add page. And it gives us this confirmation. It says, since you're already the page admin on this page, your request was approved automatically. You can go ahead and close. Now there it is. It's in the list of pages. And if you've got access to multiple pages, you'll see them all here. Now, uh, what you want to do is get access, make sure you add your page to the business manager. Also do the same thing with ad accounts. Okay. And then also do the same thing with your pixel. Now you'll need a pixel. If you don't have a pixel, go ahead and create one right now before you start sharing things with your, your ad agency. Uh, go ahead and just click add, create a pixel, and then make sure it's inside the business manager. Uh, they won't be able to create this for you. Create your pixel. And also, if you've got an e-commerce site and you've got products that you want to advertise on Facebook, go ahead and also create a catalog at this time. So the three minimum assets you want to have, uh, rather, if it's um, for advertising purposes, the three assets you want to have is a page, an ad account, and a pixel. If this is purely for social media, it may be that the only thing you need to add is the page. But for advertising, it's the page, ad account, and pixel. And if you've got an e-commerce site with products, you want to create a catalog at the same time. All right. Well, that's the tutorial on how to add your assets to your business manager. And in the next video, I'll show you how to uh, invite a partner to become and get access to those, uh, to those assets. <coughs> and in the next video, I'm going to show you how to invite ad agencies and partners to get access to those assets the way that Facebook recommends.